Hello everyone, uh, now we'll be looking over at the larynx. Let's focus on our hyoid bone, fairly simple. We have our body of the hyoid bone right here. Beside that, we have our lesser horns of the uh, hyoid bone. Adjacent to that, we have our greater horns of the hyoid bone. All right, moving on to the cartilages, we see our epiglottis right here. Below that, we have, at the interior view, our thyroid um, cartilage right here. Inferior to that, we have our cricoid cartilage right here. Let's look at the posterior view. At the posterior view, we have our arytenoid cartilage right here. They come into pairs, along with its corniculate cartilage at the tip of them. Now our cuneiform is actually, we do not see it in this model right here, but if we do see it, it will be underneath the mucous membrane. Now for the thyroid membrane, it says it in its name, it's actually in between our hyoid bone and our thyroid cartilage. All right, so it'll be around this area right here. For our cricothyroid ligament, also said in the name, it's in between our thyroid cartilage and our cricoid uh, cartilage. So it will be located right here, our cricothyroid ligament. For our cricotracheal ligament, it will be located in between our cricoid cartilage and the trachea. So all of this will be our trachea. And in between the trachea, we see our uh, ligaments of the trachea. Now for our ventricular folds and our vocal folds, we can only see our vocal folds in this model, which will be this right here. And our ventricular folds will actually be right on top of it, but like I said, we do not see it in this model. Now for the glottis, it's actually gonna be in between or inside the vocal folds. So if we open this up, we'll actually be seen through there. 